Hello friends, in this video we will discuss how to find direction of cross product and difference between dot product and cross product. Please make sure you watch vectors part 1 to part 11 then go ahead with part 12. Difference between dot product and cross product. The first difference is dot product always gives a scalar quantity. That means the resultant quantity of dot product would have only magnitude and no direction. While cross product always gives a vector quantity. That means the resultant quantity of cross product would have magnitude and the direction as well. So for example, the dot product of force vector and displacement vector gives a physical quantity which is work. And work is a scalar quantity. Work has only value and no direction. The same way the another example is dot product of magnetic field B and area vector A. Its resultant quantity is magnetic flux which is also a scalar quantity. Let's take examples of cross product. So cross product of radius vector R and force vector F gives a resultant quantity torque. Torque is a vector quantity which has magnitude or value and also a direction. The same way the magnetic force F has the formula of Q times V cross B. V is the velocity vector and B is the magnetic field vector. The cross product of these two vectors gives a resultant quantity force vector and you know force is a vector quantity. The next difference is if we change the order of vectors in dot product the magnitude of value will not change like A dot B equals a times b times cos theta. The same way b dot a equals b times a times cos theta. They both quantity will give the same value as theta is the angle between them. So they are equal. But in the cross product a cross b does not equal b cross a. So if we change the order of vectors the resultant quantity would change in the cross product. Why? a cross b equals a times b times sin theta and theta is the angle between both vectors. The same way here b times a times sin theta. You can see they are equal. So magnitude of cross product is equal but the direction is not equal. a cross b has the opposite direction of b cross a. That's why we have to put a negative sign before b cross a. As direction is changed so a cross b would not give the same resultant quantity as the B cross A. Next we will find the direction of cross product. If there are two vectors A cross B and its resultant quantity is a vector quantity R, you know magnitude would be A times B times sin theta. We have already discussed how to find magnitude of cross product in part 11. So please watch part 11 to go in detail. Here we will use left hand rule to find the direction. Suppose the vector A is horizontal and vector B is making an angle theta with the vector A. In this case the direction of resultant quantity would be vertical that means the resultant quantity R will make 90 degree with both angle A and B. So resultant quantity R would be perpendicular to the both vectors A and B. We use left hand to find the direction of this resultant quantity R. The same figure we will make with our left hand. So this is my left hand. Place thumbs up. Ring and little fingers curled. Middle finger and four fingers making some angle between them. Middle finger points to the direction of first vector A. Four finger points to the direction of second vector B making some angle theta. Then thumb shows the direction of resultant quantity. Keep in mind middle and forefinger or you can say vectors A and B should be in the same horizontal plane. So the thumb or resultant quantity would be vertical. Let's take example of magnetic force. Here magnetic force equals charge Q times cross product of velocity vector V and magnetic field B. Charge Q is a scalar quantity. So direction of magnetic force F would equal direction of cross product V cross B. 
so here this is a red charge and it's moving towards right so direction of velocity vector would be towards right and these cross shows the direction of magnetic field B the magnetic field B is into the page so direction of magnetic field and velocity vector are given we have to find the direction of magnetic force vector for that we will use the left hand rule so this is my left hand all the fingers are placed accordingly so the middle finger would show the first vector which is velocity vector and the fourth finger would show the second vector which is the magnetic field vector and then the thumb would show the resultant quantity which is the magnetic force vector so let's place all the fingers in the direction velocity vectors towards right then magnetic field b into the page and these two vectors should be in the same horizontal plane then the thumb would show the direction of magnetic force which is upward so direction of force on this charge would be upward let's take the second case here magnetic field is shown by the cross that means magnetic field is into the page and charge is moving towards left so the direction of velocity vector would be towards left so now again we will use the left hand rule to find the direction of force so here is my left hand we have to place the velocity vector towards left means in this direction so we will turn our hand so that my middle finger would point to the left direction you can see middle finger is towards left and the fore finger is into the page and thumb is showing downward that means resultant quantity force is downward i hope you understand this topic so far in the next video we will learn newton laws of motion so stay tuned and study more don't forget to subscribe share and likes for daily updates thank you